For people that like to follow my radio experiments, this is perhaps an interesting uh, video how I made that uh, 15 or 14 MHz up to 18 MHz shortwave receiver further. I made a, uh, a front from a triplex birch triplex. Well varnished, I've explained that everywhere. And uh, you can mount knobs here and here. And this is for the VFO, and this will be for the uh, high frequency amplification with the field effect transistor. And I mounted a, a lot of switches and other things. Here is the very small uh, capacitor with which you can tune the antenna coil. And I mounted the switch uh, next to it to uh, bridge that antenna coil with an extra capacitor from 100 picofarad all to get into the uh, 15 megahertz up to 18 megahertz band. And here is the loudspeaker. Mounted a few switches, one for the mains, on off, one for the filter. That switch now is here. That um, switch bridges the ceramic filter here, but it's going to be on the front. And here, of course, a small loudspeaker, a switch to uh, switch between loudspeaker and an external loudspeaker or a headphone. And here is the backside from that radio that I'm working on. It's a very simple and in a certain way primitive approach, but it works and that's the most important thing. For instance here, I've made the uh, antenna coil and that coil has to be completely free out of um, external influences and especially made for instance by tin plate. Here is tin plate and I mount that coil free. Uh, I also did not uh, uh, glue a piece of tin plate to the, uh, to the inner side from the radio. And uh, that has also all to do with the effect on the antenna coil. Uh, every um, uh, tin plate or whatever can damp the ideal frequencies from this antenna coil. And that's not uh, what I want to do. Anyway, I will mount here will mount a piece of well varnished wood that will uh, give that coil a more fixed position. And also here is the high frequency transistor. I will also mount that on a piece of well varnished wood to keep it properly uh, isolated from all kinds of external influences. So here is that transistor mounted on a well varnished piece of wood. And that's more or less all to tell. Here is the high frequency uh, amplifying unit made with a field effect transistor. And here of course is that antenna coil. And when it's all done, we have here a simple shortwave radio that can receive between, say, 14 megahertz and 
18 megahertz and I found that I could receive radio stations from Romania in Europe and also a lot of Arabic uh, radio stations.